Where did you get this from? Ethan Pace, by any chance? Sexually frustrated lesbians are such easy targets. Just calm down. You're out of control, woman. I love you. What in hell? You worse me a scum. That's enough. Somebody please tell me what's going on here. Your friend here just whacked me in the face and then tried to strangle me. What? If you knew what Ethan was really like, if you knew what he was truly capable of... Maya. Wait. In the mood she's in, who knows what she's capable of. She might even turn on you if you say the wrong thing. Are you all right? Yeah, I am now. Nothing to see here, folks. What did you do to deserve all that? I have no idea. The girls must be beside themselves. And Fraser. Fraser doesn't know. You haven't told him. We're not together anymore. Well, yeah, I know, but... Cancer overrules any rash, hasty decisions. It wasn't hasty. I thought it through. Yeah, that still doesn't add up. I mean, you get the news that you're clear of HIV and then wham, you dump your boyfriend. What did you do? Make a pact with God. You didn't. A promise to our Heavenly Father shouldn't be taken lightly. Uh, well, what if there are extenuating circumstances? Like cancer. Look. I will sort it with the big man upstairs. Why don't you ring Fraser and... No. He's got enough on his plate with Deborah. He doesn't need me adding to his troubles. Wouldn't you rather have him by your side through all of this, even as a friend? I have my girls. Besides, I need to focus on beating this thing and staying alive. There's no room for Fraser, even if I wanted there to be. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Honestly, I'm fine. Poor thing. She's obviously taking the news really hard. Just so you know, I've taken my blood pressure pills. Right on. I didn't want you to worry. Thank you for letting me know. So, Santa's bringing you a new hip for Christmas, Mrs. Brewer. The hip operation? Bet you would have preferred a pair of fluffy slippers. Oh, no, a friend of mine had a hip operation last year. Is that right, Bessie? Her name is, um, oh, on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, she said it hurt like nobody's business. Complete agony. Took her forever to come right. I don't think we need to be alarming Mrs. Brewer unduly. Don't worry, we will look after you. I wouldn't get a hip replacement for love you know nor money. What? Why don't you go and have a flick through some of those magazines I bought in for you? Oh, it's okay, dear. I'm happy as Larry keeping you company. Nurse Betty. Yes, Dr. Dent. How would you like to give us a hand restocking the shelves? Will you be all right by yourself? I think I will be OK. Thank you, Dr. Dent. OK, this slot here mm -hmm. goes there. We call it restocking. On your marks, get set, go. Right. Oh, someone looks like they've been in the wars. Haven't you heard? Maya attacked me. She what? You know, I'd love to give you all the gory details, but I'm here to see Miss Brill. Uh, Tracy's with her now. Oh! Oh, goodness, It's, it's okay. okay. Betty will clean this up in no time. Miss Betty? Yeah, her son dumped her here so he could go on holiday. Granny dumped. It's the season. Hey, Trace, uh, what did the social work say? They're stretched. They'll get someone here as soon as they can. Oh, no other family, friends, neighbours? Nada. Well, as much as I would like to keep her here, she really is just getting in the way. I uh, will move her out to the corridor when I get a minute. Thank you. Look, I'll finish this off. You go have a sit down. Mm. Well, just for a minute. So, um, how's that wrist? Um, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I didn't sprain it. Um, my, you know what, has fled up again. Yeah, I wondered. Look, if you want to take some time off, I have things under control here. Despite appearances to the contrary. Are you sure? Consider it an early Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. What are you 
you doing? I'm out of here. At least I will be as soon as Callum finds out what happened. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I placed right into his hands. You don't think Ethan wanted you to have a go at him? No, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I'm trying to figure out why my best friend tried to strangle my boyfriend. Can you please help me understand? You know the messenger conversation we had about the patient having the lap collie? Katrina Green, what's that got to do with anything? Somehow, Ethan got hold of that conversation and gave it to Callum. So? So, Callum took it as me sexually harassing you and objectifying the patient. You're joking. I got my second written warning. No way. And as soon as he finds out what just happened with Ethan, I'll be out of here, which is exactly what he wanted all along, so... Look, I know you and Ethan don't exactly see eye to eye, but why would Ethan go to such great lengths to get rid of you? Maybe you should ask him that. <sighs> this is too much. I'm sorry, Alice, I know you're into Ethan, but he is a lying, deceiving, scheming snake. Watch your back, because he's already stabbed mine. Actually, Betty, I think I'd better take that. Mr. Joseph is still feeling a bit nauseous. Oh, get your own, you cheeky sod. Query a fracture, metacarpal. Yeah. Blow to head. I've been waiting for you. Cubicle three, thanks. I'm Kip, one of the doctors here. Line three. You're having a bit of fun today, I hear. Yeah, blast. <laughs> hey, Mr. Joseph, did you want me to hook up in a... Trace. Ah, hey, you. Huh? You guys know each other? Lance is an old colleague of mine. Come on. A bit more than that. <laughs> I'm the ex. Right. You need to destroy anything and everything that ties me to Nisus. Keep it together, will you? What if they let the old girls' cancer to us? They won't. How do you know? Because they can't. There's no way anyone can prove her cancer was anything more than unfortunate. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Yeah, that's what got me into this mess in the first place. I say we just cut our losses, walk away, and get on a plane. And how will that look? Guilty as sin. We need to fill that last order, at least. It's just the Yanks. Cancel it. And cancel the paycheck? Is that what you want? So we're agreed. It's business as usual. Sure. But there is no business if I don't have any donors. Eh? Well, I have to do everything by the book now, don't I? Which means I don't have enough body parts to fill the order. This is the part where I should be excited and jumping up and down with joy, but just can't stop thinking about Mum. Yeah, I know. It's why I brought you here. I thought it might take your mind off things. We need to start planning what we need for the place. Well, we'll need new furniture for a start. And we'll need it right away. Come on, Libby. We're stretched enough just from buying the place. There's no real rush, is there? Actually, there is. I'm going to ask Mum to move in with us. Obviously, in her condition, she'll need to be somewhere comfortable. So we'll need to get things over the next few days. Wouldn't she be better off staying with Maya and Tanya? She needs somewhere where she can relax. And she can't do that there, it's too busy. Plus, there's JJ. OK, fair enough, but... Just for starters, couldn't we make do with some of the furniture from El Rancho? <laughs> that stuff won't work here. Some of it might. There is a reason why they say out with the old and in with the new. And if you took a good look around our rancho, you could see why. Now we need everything new. We need a new lounge suite, a new fridge, a new washing machine, a new dryer. Uh, Libby, I get that you want the best for your mum, okay? I want that too, but I really just don't think we can afford all that right now. My mother has cancer, Karen. I'm not having her sit on secondhand anything or using a washing machine that should have gone out with Jenny Shipley. Who? Exactly. There is no choice in the matter. I want everything new, and that's that. There are no signs of concussion, but I'd like to keep you here for four hours just to be safe. Now, how'd you do that? Quick about. All right, someone tried to knock you for six. Oh, don't worry. They got these. No doubt. <laughs> OK, Gian. Oh, no, just follow me. Please. What about that? Friends of yours. <clears throat> Try it. And Keats with the White House. Nice friends. Yeah, part of the red this morning. OK, Constable, uh, let's get that hand x-rayed and see what we're dealing with. Tracy, mm -hmm. how would you like to take your mate here up to radiology? Sure. OK, and um, 
I'll go deal with the triads. So. Long time no see. Yeah, seems like another lifetime ago uh, being in the force, I mean. Nice uniform, but. Yeah, sure beats the cop one. Never did like those pants. Even Naomi Campbell would look hideous. Are you missing it? I'm happy here. The police here? Yeah, right. No, I mean it. Give me a break. When I told you I was going back to nursing, I believe your exact words were, you stupid bloody fool, or something to that effect. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't keep my own buff head down. What, what I really meant to say was, I'm really going to miss you and please don't go. It just came out wrong. I'll say. And I have missed you. We all have. You're a good cop, Trace. Was a good cop. I'll bet you hell of a nurse, too. So long as you're happy, that's all that matters, right? Wow. You can keep your inner buff head down. I'm impressed. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm still alive. No thanks to your mate Maya. I caught up with her after your... Allocation? She had a few choice things to say about you. <laughs> after she tried to kill me, I've got a few choice things to say about her, too. She thinks you're out to get her. She's deluded. That you gave Yvonne cancer? Which would make me God. You don't believe her, surely? I don't know what to believe. We don't even know if the DBM was contaminated. We're still waiting for the results. And even if it was, it's an unfortunate error made by the company that supplied the material. It could have happened to any surgeon. What about this campaign she says you're on? Oh, please. I've got better things to do than wage some vendetta against her. Look, she's completely unstable. I guess I can't blame her. Her girlfriend's been murdered. She has a baby to contend with, and now mother's got cancer. But the point is, she's lost the plot. It's just... This isn't like the Maya I know. I've known her a long time. She's a good friend. What can I say? People change. And do we ever really know anyone? What about the printout of this conversation I had with her? Did you really give it to Callum? Yes. Why? A nurse came across it. Which one? Carol? Robin? I can't say. Anyway, she gave it to me and said she was concerned. I honestly had no intention of giving it to Callum, but he heard about it through the grapevine and demanded to see it. It was perfectly harmless. To you, maybe. But if you ask me, she's reading a lot more into your perfectly harmless conversation than you think. And you know what else I think? She's the one who's got it in for me. All because I'm going out with you. Oh. Face it, Alice. She's obsessed with you. And you need to do something about it. Like what? Out of sight, out of mind. Do you know what I mean? Hey there, Nurse Betty. Maybe you should get some shut-eye on your bed. Oh, nonsense. I'm not even tired. I might make myself a cup. Can I make one for you too? Oh, I could go a cup of tea. Milk, no sugar. Sweet enough, are you? Oh, that's the word on the street. <laughs> I beg your pardon, that was uh, a coffee and two sugars, right? Ah, lovely jubbly. Lots of zigzag. Ah, the long hand of the law. Funny guy. I try my best. Well, I'll go survey the damage. It's been good to see you, Trace. Yeah, you too. How about a drink sometime? Actually, I'm seeing someone. I said a drink, not a date. Sorry, yeah. Come on, it'd be good to catch up. I don't know. You know, it's on next week. Police charity ball. <laughs> it's that time already. I hey, remember that one where we snuck you the loose. Yes, no, oh, I, I remember. Thank you. <coughs> Everyone will be there. Big Pete, Bosky, Paulie boy. Is he still there? I thought he would have bailed out already. Nah, he's always saying that. Mm. Come on, the old gang would love to see you. Have a goss, raise some money for some sick kids. What do you say? OK. But there will be no ducking anywhere this time, got it? Got it. Mind if I jump on for a sec? I need to do a quick search. I was just heading to the woods anyway. How are you feeling after? I'm fine, thank you. Callum just suspended Maya. I'm not surprised. Would you mind taking over as charge nurse for the time being? Of course. You should have seen her. She was out of control. Whatever it was, I'm sure it'll all come out in time. Here we go. Got all the young men running around after you, I see. 
If I were ten years younger, I'd get you to give me more than a cup of tea. Oh, well, if I were ten years older, I'd... I'd, I'd um, yeah, yep. Anyway, enjoy your cuppa. <laughs> That's not right. People can't just dump their relatives in a hospital. They should be locked up. Oh, I'm going to ring that social worker again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shouldn't. Go on. Ginger nuts. I mean, this one's never enough. I want to insist. <laughs> mm. They're my favourite, but they're so hard to bite into unless you dunk them first. I'm very glad you said that. You're Betty, right? Who's asking? I'm Ethan. I'm one of the doctors here. Oh, really? Tell me, Betty, do you have any relatives or friends I could call to come pick you up? Oh, only my son. But he's not here. Where is he? He's on holiday. Without you? That's not very nice, is it? Well, everyone's been very nice to me here. <laughs> How would you like to stretch your legs and come for a walk with me? Nothing like a bit of fresh air. What do you say? You're very kind. Come with me, Betty. I'll look after you. Please, it's not a date, it's a catch-up, which, as you were listening into our conversation, you obviously already know. Well, it wasn't hard with that voice of his. Come on, Truth. Big Pete will be there. <laughs> Exactly. All my mates will be there. It's not like it's a candlelit dinner. It'll be chaos. They'll all be trying to put each other in a headlock by midnight. Fine. Why are you sulking? Well, first you blow me off for Christmas, and now you're going out with your ex. How am I meant to feel? Look, I told you, I'm trying to do you a favour by keeping you away from my family. As for Lance, you wouldn't be worried if you knew how we broke up. Whatever. Besides, you see Tanya every day, and do I go on about it? No, because it's good to get on with your exes. There's a difference between getting on with them and going out with them. You know what? Get over it. And while you're at it, get over yourself. <gasps> Just take a seat, and I'll be with you on a tick. Paperwork's already, so step this way. Or do we need to have another conversation about this? No, you're right. I will buy back your Nessus Bio shares at peakless price. And you're right about selling the IV Central too. There's no point being in business if we can't trust each other. Being cooperative's never exactly been your forte. What's the catch? No catch. Except. Here we go. Mai's been on my back about Nessus Bio, especially since her mother's diagnosis. And this surprises you. She physically attacked me at work this morning. She will. Which means she's capable of anything. So I need you to keep stum about my involvement with Nessus Bio, yeah? That it? One more thing. Betty. Betty. Her husband died in surgery yesterday. Old family friends. I actually feel quite responsible. I did everything I could to keep him alive. <sighs> What's this got to do with me? What am I supposed to do for my condolences? I want you to give her a lift across town. I would, but I'm due on surgery. Why don't I just put her in a taxi? I'd feel better if I knew she was looked after properly. It's a difficult time for her. Graham was all she had left in the world. OK, where does she need to go? She needs to see her husband's body. It's at Haldane's. Do you remember the way? I don't care if I never see that place again. Come on, Kieran, look at her. She's a little old lady without a soul in the world. Giving her a lift isn't going to kill you. Then that's it. No more favours. We're over. Over and out. Give your keys and I'll load her up. She can sit there and have all your rest till you're ready to go. It's Libby's car. The Beamer out back. You know what you should do? Go to Ethan. Throw yourself on his mercy. Plead insanity. Grief for your mother. And apologise. Apologise to that scumbag. No way. Your career's at stake, Maya. And besides, he could press assault charges. Let him. Do you think Mum needs this kind of stress right now? He has been out to get me. Admit it, Maya. This isn't about him and you. This is about him and Alice. I'm going to take a shower. I spoke to Ethan. And? 
There's no way he gave your mum cancer. Not on purpose. What about the messenger conversation? I don't think he's to blame for that. So that makes me crazy, unreasonable, Maya. I'm sorry, you hate Ethan. I really am. He's not the monster you think he is. He's not the angel you think he is. The way you feel about Ethan makes things difficult between us. I know, and that is not what I and want. And that's why I'm going to move out. What? I'll grab some stuff now. I'll be back for the rest later. Oh, don't worry about the rent. I'll pay no, it. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, Maya. There's no other way. Hi, Betty. My name's Kieran Mitchell. I'm a friend of Ethan's. Listen, I was very sorry to hear... Fast asleep. It's a breath. All done. Can we go? Yeah, um, I'm not so sure about that. We haven't done anything wrong. Or well, what do you call being in business with the White Tails? We live next door to the White Tails. The place burst into the run apartment. They threw me to the ground. Is this true? Yeah, they're free to go. Wait, did you or did you not assault the policeman that broke into your house? He attacked my wife and then me. I only defended myself. You have a couple over there claiming that they're the innocent victims of police brutality. She got pushed over, hubby got in on the act, and he had to be subdued. With a five centimetre laceration to the head. He clipped me with his cricket bat. Is he really a triad? Well... Lance! But you know those gooks are like. Triad or not, they all turn into Jackie Chan given half the chance. You know what? Suddenly, I remember why I never wanted to catch up with you. And suddenly, I remember why we broke up. Because you are a bigoted creep. Is he on, mate? No, you can forget all about the charity ball, mate. Because I wouldn't go with a racist like you for all the tea in China. Uh, oh, it's a daisy, Betty. Come on, Betty, help me out here. Yeah? Betty, help me out. Betty, you all right? 